Hi, my name is Farzin Fathur the Body. I'm an interventional cardiologist at Manchester Royal Infirmary in UK. I would like to show you a couple of cases to illustrate how the Capella side branch stent can simplify and make bifurcation stenting safer. Here is an example of difficult bifurcation lesion with Medina classification of 111. Conventional T stenting would be difficult in this case as by deploying the main vessel stent first, this has the potential of losing the side branch. Acute angulation makes rewiring and getting another stent through the main vessel stent into the side branch also problematic. Other bifurcation techniques would also be difficult with this anatomy. For example, with crush technique, re-entry of side branch for kiss ballooning would particularly be difficult. Equally, cool-up technique is not suitable due to acute angle and mismatch between side branch and main vessel size. In this example, we used a 2.75 side guard stent in the first diagonal and a 4 mm drug eluting stent in the main vessel. This was followed by kissing balloon technique using large non-compliant balloons in both arteries with very good results. Side guard can also be potentially used by itself when the lesion is confined to a side branch at or near its ostium. This gives full coverage of side branch and avoids having to stand a healthy main vessel. Here is an example of side branch lesion in an AV cell close to a large OM vessel. Side guard was only deployed in the AV cell. The OCT pictures show good apposition of the stent within the lesion and full coverage of the osteum without disturbing the healthy adjacent large OM vessel. I believe Capella side branch stent uses an innovative concept, making bifurcation stenting more simple and safe, with an excellent initial success rate. I eagerly await long-term efficacy data.